みんなが毎日マストランジスコープを見ていくわけですねグランド君に同行したのはこの番組のレポーターゆうきさんです Deep down in this dark, abandoned Brooklyn subway station lies a mass transoscope. No, it is not some mythological monster from the deep. It is a creative work of art. I think I got the idea because、uh, I'm a filmmaker and I've worked in films for 10 years and I ride the subways all the time. And you look out the window and you see the other trains passing by and it's flickering and it looks like a movie all the time. So, I thought, gee, you know, you could reverse the process, and instead of having the film go through the projector, you could move the audience past the film. The artwork consists of 228 separate hand painted panels. They are housed inside this 300 foot long unit. They are designed to be seen from moving subways through narrow slits placed about 15 inches apart. Let's go to the D train. The coloration looks great. And the idea in itself is most fascinating. Beautiful, like colorful. You know, like designs, all kinds of designs. It was beautiful. The colors were、uh, bright. I mean, I think this was really nice. Instead of looking out and seeing a black, dark wall, you see something colorful and artistic. It was nice. What was it? I suppose now you're wondering what my impression Well, it was.、Uh, maybe you should run it by me one more time. If you want to check it out for yourself, it will cost you the price of a subway ride. But only on the Manhattan bound B, D, N, and QB. I'm Frank Casey, Action News. I'm Valerie Brown for Brooklyn Magazine. For about a year and a half now, Manhattan bound subway riders on the BDN and QB passing through the Myrtle Avenue station have enjoyed a fantastic sight through the subway windows. During a recent visit to his Manhattan studio, Brooklyn Magazine spoke with the creator of Mass Transoscope, independent filmmaker Bill Brand. What I went to for this was、uh, the most primitive system for producing an illusion motion machine, which was called the Zotrope, which was a 19th century toy, which had a, a simple slit that scanned past the eye that produced that intermittency that's required for the illusion of motion. In the original Zotrope, what you had was a cylinder, and on the inside of the cylinder were the images, and、uh, there were slits in the cylinder. And you looked through into the inside and you saw、uh, the jugglers or the horse, Moybridge's horse or whatever. Here, the, the slits and the images stand still and you move by them. Well, to make the model, in order to mimic the effect in the subway, I had to then do a double reverse because I wanted, didn't want to have myself run back and forth. So now I have me sitting still, and I've made a kind of zoetrope machine. So you have a, a band of slits that runs around the whole thing, and then a, a, a long scroll or strip of images that runs in the same direction at the same speed as the slits. <laughs> Is this what you had to use when you wanted to sell the project or the idea for getting funds?、Um, partially. I, I built it so that I could demonstrate that it worked.、Mm -hmm. uh, but I also built it so that I could,、um, so that I could develop the image. Because it's not like a movie. It doesn't work like a movie. It doesn't work like video. It's really its own medium. 
And the only way I could tell whether the image was working or not would be to have something that simulated it as it would be. Well, we're inside this interesting piece of artwork. Can you tell me how the whole thing works? OK, well, inside here, we're standing on the platform of the now abandoned Myrtle Avenue station. Over to the right there uh, are where the trains pass by. They're about three feet from the outside of this wall here. Between each of these lights, is an opening, a slit that's only about a half inch wide. And as you pass by, you look through that. You don't actually see the slit so much except when the train slows down. It's more like riding by a fence, a picket fence when you're riding fast. It's the slit and the frames that create the illusion of motion. You couldn't just have a wall of frames because it'd just be a blur. Look at that. It's freaking me out. <laughs> it's really it's beautiful. Imagine really beautiful. You, you know, but did you see the, um, it looked like the a spaceship. Coin, the coin, the coin, the spaceship. Like you can see it from the B, D, N, and Q, B trains coming from DeKalb Avenue in Brooklyn on your way into Manhattan if you look out the windows on the right. You should do all the stations like this, you know, it'd be really nice. Now, instead of, instead of putting this uh, a while ago, it's been a while, about a year and a half, something like that. Yeah, I've known I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I used to be I, it's been a long time since I took the train. I've never seen them. They're nice. You never noticed them? No. They're beautiful. I have to my city. I sit on that side, I pass by, or I stand up by the door and watch it. Now, they should do that in a lot of these stations. Like, no, that was it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was it, the whole thing. Okay.